let me let's let's look at the other boys now. Um, Where's after lie gone? Bro, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps back, on back. He, he, he keeps on coming on and off. On and off. <laughs> Mate, it's what a, kind of what kind of dude, dude, net in Chicago dude exists, says, man? Alex once says Abdullah's camera has COVID question mark. <laughs> Probably, oh man. Oh mm. my god. Like no 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 I mean I mean look I, look I just think look <laughs> so look here's my thing here. So left back for in that system you say is Teyes. And the right back is Juan Basaka. Left left wing back, yeah. So, so, so the left wing wing back is yeah. Teyes. Yeah. Which is why I would love to see Horton Nondoy. Because see, now this is the, the, the if and the mud because Horton Nondoy, it would be great if you catch Teyes really up and him leaving the space in behind and Cho exploiting that. But the issue is that because Teyes is very good going forward, you definitely do need Cho to sort of help track back and help assist as Blaquetta mm. to make it difficult for Teyes. And here's the thing, Juan Bissaka for me is is one of the best 1v1 defenders, I think, in the world. He's very difficult to right. get past. Hence why, hey. let's put Pulisic in there. Because if you now put in Mount, what the hell is Mount <laughs> going to do up against Juan Bissaka? <laughs> Abdullahi, uh, we can't hear you on mute, thank you. <laughs> talk, now talk, Abdullahi, talk. We still can't hear you. We can't hear you, Antolai. Wait, are you using a... a oh my God. <laughs> this has been a full-on... No, 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 listen. This has been a Class B performance. <laughs> it is, it's been a total Class B oh, performance. <laughs> Sorry, just... Oh, everyone, there's a lot of people in the comments saying, like, I'm black. What the hell? <laughs> Apparently, people are surprised. So, can you guys just hear me? like, dude's black. What? Can you guys hear me? <laughs> like, what is going on? <laughs> Surprise Pikachu face. It's just. <laughs> can you guys hear me? We can hear, we can hear you after that, man. <laughs> Man, uh, you. That's hilarious, just... man. You know, uh, no, no, but you know what? I'll be real with you. Mm. I'll be real with you. You you fought you fought it too, didn't you? I'll be real with you. You fought it too, did you? I'll be real with you. Because at the time, for me, I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. He, he's he's just this not standard like white English dude. But I was like, I don't know. Like, there's some things he said. But you know what it was? It's your answers to some things said. He's probably not white. I think he might be black because of how you answered a few things. But when he first came on, I was like, oh, yeah, this was some white English dude. That everything he does. <laughs> <laughs> Hence why I asked you that, like, oh, yeah, are you black? And he said, yeah, you're black. I was like, <laughs> not black, hey, Nigerian. Let's, Nigerian. let's get it right. Nigerian. Nigerian, yeah, get Nigerian. It. Let's get okay, it. Okay, I'll like talk, man. Um, that is why I said, um, if you want to play a show, you need to play with Olivier Giroud. So we get that with Timo Vena. That's why I said, yes, I want to play Timo Vena, but I would, pl I would love to play Timo Vena together with Olivier Giroud. With so, Olivier Giroud. So are you saying we do this? And then who does Vena re replace out of these three? No, Vena will play together with Giroud. We play together with Giroud. Okay, but Giroud is now here. Where so where do you put Vena then? So you play Vena. On the on the left, you you, you, you in you, place of who police Then you do police back into number ten. Then I think the the, the problem with with, with Napa is gonna face against United is I think uh, it's harsh to say, but for for the Chelsea fans who wants to win this match, he has to drop um Kai Havertz. He has to drop him. Yes, he has to drop Kai Havertz because if you want to play the bench, you, you cannot play Kai Havertz in that team. You cannot play him. You can't. You have to put him on the bench. Then you bring him up from the bench. It's going to accommodate Olivier Giroud in it. Yeah, you see, for me, I... Because, you see, you have to make... Because my thing is, like, I always say, that, oh, Havertz has... Havertz has does Havertz have to start? I don't think so. Does yeah, he have to I start? Because for me, Havertz is a quality player. But I've always said that in a game like this and everything, a striker is needed. Yeah, I think it will start... A striker is needed. The reason is because... If you look at the way United play, there's going to be a space for us to exploit. That is when you need to have that in that place. Player who can pinpoint passes. He, he has the ball on his feet, just pass. What, what I know about him over now is pace. 
he has pace and he can run on to you. When you give him that chance, he will run on, he will run on, he will run with you. So you have to, when you have Kai Havertz, his job is just like Bruno Fernandez, give him the ball, let him pass. Give him the ball, let him pass. Just give him the ball, he will pass. That's what I said is important. But if Oligi, Olivier Giroud is playing, you don't need Kai Havertz. That's how, I don't know how Lampard is going to set it up, but he's going to go with the back four. I do not think he's going to play back there yet. I'll be surprised if he does. I will be. I'm I'm happy because this is the nice because I I try to give my realistic like this is what Oli's gonna play not what I want I you know I look at this lineup I'm like I hate to break it to you guys but Lampard's not gonna play this lineup like he like there's at least two players in this team that we I know aren't dream. gonna be there Giroud is not gonna be in the team and definitely Hudson Doyne's yeah okay be there. Right, the um, only thing about this is Olivier Giroud has not played from the start of the season and this is the match mm. Olivier Giroud wants to, he wants to, Against United, the Rivet did that score goes against United. He knows how to score goals against United. He's mm -hmm. gonna give Maguire. Mason Mount scores goals against United as well. Yeah, so he's gonna give Maguire <laughs> huge problems. Huge problems. So he's gonna give Maguire huge problems. That's why I said I don't know how Lampard is gonna set up. That's my issue with him. I do not know how he's gonna set up. Um, but you see, this is my thing. Like mm -hmm. we all okay, this is our dream. This is the reality. The yeah, reality exactly. Is, now, now yeah, is yeah. this? We're now fully let's deal with the reality. Yeah, let's do reality. Yes, exactly. This is it. Yeah. yeah. Then you put Kai on the uh, bench. Do you, do you do you do you think that he will play a back four? Yeah, I have do, a I, I have a feeling that he that Lampard will play will match Oli and play back three. I, don't I just have a suspicion he will. I don't think he will. I do not think he will. No, no, Abdullahi, he very well. I ha I, have I think no he idea. will. I, I don't. No I don't idea. think. I don't think Lampard will play it back four. I think you away to but United. You know, the but, pressure. But, but, I think. But, but, but see, right, do you know why that would be so stupid? Mm. Because you're now messing with the flow okay. of the back line. Exactly. Mm. Because you need to mm. maintain Zuma Silva, Zuma mm. Silva, centre back, mm. centre back, centre back. Maintain mm. that. Maintain that. Ma 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 Base chemistry. That. Base chemistry. Mm. Because. Let them play like six, seven games together. Then go to a back three and a thing like that. But if you're like, we've played one game as a back four, next game back three, another game back four, another game back three. I mean, what the hell? He hasn't, you know? he hasn't played this year. He hasn't even played a back three this year at all. He has not at all. He hasn't. So that's why I said he won't play. Lampard will okay. not play a back three. The only thing Lampard could do is, is a four three. But he's not played. He's not played against. I mean, the impression I. I, I the impression I got is that against certain certain, certain teams, that, like he obviously he yeah, did it against us in the FA Cup. He played a back three, yeah, that's which, which, which not Yeah, against Liverpool. Agreed. Liverpool should have been the best way to play back three, but Lampard mm. took the back four. And in that okay. in that team, he made a mistake because he was going more defensive in the fourth three. He played Jorginho, Kovati, and Kante together, which I don't want. Yes, but see, this is my issue with this. <sighs> Mount. Do you see Mount ever in this position? Where? Here, crossing the ball. Yep. Lampard, it's Lampard. It's Lampard no, 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 no. No, no, no. I said, do you see him getting the ball, running with the ball, reaching this byline and pro providing a cross? That's never happening. Because Mount isn't, doesn't operate straight. He operates as a central player. So... His movements is he comes in, comes here, plays a pass, that, plays a pass. Yeah, that's so, you, so you're getting no forward it. movements from this dude. Mm -hmm. And let me remind the people, Juan Bissaka is right back. Mm -hmm. What's the all Mount can do is pass the ball and shoot. As no, no, no. Yeah, but it's just pass the ball to to Kai or just come in on the inside and, and that's it. Mm -hmm. But it's like you're almost negating this area. And let's just be, be real. Mounts tracking back. How does that change things? Because so there's, a lot, there's a lot of people in the comments saying that Mount is Ronaldo, the goat, etc. So it's just live, um, live chats. You, you can go <laughs> screw yourselves. You well. <laughs> live chats. You can screw yourselves. You you, you you absolute losers, man. So my thing is this, man. Um, you see, this would be better yeah, because uh, now uh, you have. Uh, now, Pulisic up against one Bissaka. Exactly. And now you can play. You can play this. You can play. This. It will work this way because in the in the right wing, you are literally what I'm doing is we are playing the four three three. So you are literally putting Mason Mount back into midfield. It could work this way because now you are playing Christian Pulisic in, in his very profile position in the left. That is what I want. To, I don't want to say him on the left. It's 
it's useless on the left, it's useless. You can play him on the right, it's very useful on the right. You can go back to your midfield. You won't, you won't do anything in the wing. It's going to play more. It's going to be a cover to cover. To. When Kovacic goes front, Mount is going to come back. You see, but, but do you know what was going to be key here? Mm-hmm. What I want to see is Kante occupy this position more. Yeah. And just protect these dudes. Yeah. And obviously for Kovacic, it's almost like this where Kovacic... You're there to supply that ball to boom, to boom, to boom. So if there's a transition, mm-hmm. get it to either of these guys. Because the thing, the thing with this is that I think Werner could work in this game. Do you know why? You see, against Sevilla, Sevilla would be very de- defensive. And I always yep. say that against a defensive team, you need a strong striker presence like a to, number nine. to yep. break things up. Yep. United, especially at Old Trafford, they're now going to come out to attack and mm-hmm. they're going to give in the space. But, but here's my issue. Here's my issue. If we go back to um, United's lineup, mm. no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, if you go back to United's lineup, it's gonna be if he puts Werner with these three, mm. how much space is he gonna get? It yeah. will get, a, it will get because because you need somebody to occupy Maguire. So if you're crossing the ball, you just need somebody to back into Maguire and just occupy that. That's so what... because if you have if you have three centre backs here. And Vena is in there, and he receives the ball in this area. Well, what is he going to do? Because he's not—he's not—he he, he can't play with his back to goal as well as um, Giroka. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not to mention McTominay, obviously helping out support because he'll there obviously drop so, in so or so threat for that matter. Yeah. So I, that's, I think that's why I feel. I feel for me, what's what Lampard Lampard in that sense? He'll try, he try. He will try to get um, Chelsea to actually play out wide. Like yeah, so, like yeah. that's the way he'll try and get to inside. Not come, yeah, not come yeah. from, not come from the middle because obviously we have been weak in that position with Maguire, etc. Like I think when doing that, he will try and force Chelsea to play wide, and obviously yeah. he forces Chelsea to play wide. On the right, you obviously got Bambasaka to deal with. On the left, you know you got um, obviously Luke Shaw and Tellers. And to, to be Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw's not crap defensively. He's not. He's he's better going forward, but like he's an okay defender. Okay, Chilwell. Is maybe March. I would argue is March, but I don't think Chilwell is massively better defensively than Luke Shaw. So I think by doing that, I think that's his plan to try and neutralize Chelsea. You know, frustrate Werner obviously playing the three, get Chelsea to play out wide, and then frustrate them that way, and then obviously go on the counter attack by pinging the ball through to through Bruno to the likes of um, Rashford, up to Cavani or Greenwood. So my thing here is this because um, I've not really been keeping close of what's United's thinking plan is. Mm. So is this true? Can Fred and McTominay play a third game in a week? So this would be their third That's game in Newcastle. a week? Well, Fred, well, well, Fred and McTominay, to be honest, haven't... <laughs> they've not really... I think the first time they started, actually, was like against the... Um, uh, was obviously Newcastle. So it's not like they've been playing like consistent, uh, consistently. Um, I. It's more... Mo, it's more because of the system. Like, you can't play... Um, I think personally, you could play Pogba where Fred is, but to be honest, I actually think that Fred has been in better form than Pogba in that position. Not in terms of, you know, number 10 or 8 going forward or whatever, but in this position, the system, Fred has is, is played better. Oli has clearly seen that against Newcastle and against PSG. You know, Pogba's been great coming in from the bench as has Van der Beek, and I think that's why he'll start this way. I don't think this is going to be the team you'll see at the end of the game, but I think at the beginning of the game, to give Manchester United a bit of protection going forward um, and to cause Chelsea problems. And bear in mind, we started McTominay, Fred and Pogba, I think, at Old Trafford last time, where we won 4-0. And it was, again, Fred and McTominay holding. I think Pogba was slightly more advanced, if I remember. And then and then we played a front three of um, Martial, Rashford but there was, and, can you and, Matic, and Daniel James. Can you see Matic starting? Matic, can you see him starting? Um... He may, Fred, he, may, nah, he, may, gonna, he may start if he wants to rest Fred and Mc, McTominay. Though. See, McTominay, if, so, see, if yeah. Fred and Mc, McTominay start, Chelsea what, will, will, will have I, issues breaking that. I think um, what he'll thing. I think what he'll do is I think that the rotation, because I think the win, I mean I'm speculating here, but I don't think anyone thought the Manchester United were going to beat PSG, which obviously puts us in a, a good position. We obviously we've got two home games now. I think the Chelsea game, from a Premier League point of view, I think is more important than the Leipzig game. And obviously, the Chelsea squad on paper is a lot stronger than the Leipzig squad. So I think if Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is going to make changes, it makes more sense to make changes for the, the Leipzig game on 
on Tuesday when we're still at home, when a lot of players will probably have got a bit more fitness and have more training. You can make your changes there. But in this game, I think he'll probably play Fred and McTominay, um, etc. again. But I expect changes um, against Leipzig because, you know, I think I have a more license that way. All right, so um, what's the word? Do you agree with this, Abdullaki? If Pulisic plays on the left, we, we win. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because, But the problem is one bissaka because it's very good defensive. Very, very good. It's, I, guys, I, guys, it's good, man. Yeah, I agree to Yeah, he pocketed that but, but, yeah. but do you know what we didn't know what the thing is, though? Mm -hmm. Pulisic is going to be cutting in on the right. It will play match number 10. It will play match no, number 10. No, 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 wait, wait. We're not saving that as a number 10. You see, the, the thing with Juan Bissaka is if you're trying to get to the byline, it is very difficult to get to the byline with Juan Bissaka in there. But, but now, if Pulisic is not cutting into the center of the pitch... Mm -hmm. That's why one, I feel that... Because, 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 because yeah. see, Juan Bissaka has to now be careful because if he follows him, that allows Chilwell free space. So Juan Bissaka has to be like, okay, now do I follow Pulisic in here to try and tackle him or do I be aware because because he now has a decision to, to make that's but why if, i feel that twan cb is going to be important if twan yeah. cb plays in a twan cb plays instead of lindelof which is again it was an option i'm only saying that twan cb not just because he's just coming back but that's for me that's one of the reasons why we won that won that psg game that 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 link play but that understanding between twan cb and wan basaka when it came to positioning is one of the reasons why they both end up pocketing you know the the, the brazilian Theo wilcott you know so and obviously mbappe you know, so by doing by that understanding between those two players, I think that that should neutralize Pulisic. However, if Lindelof plays there, it, I don't think it will be as good. I think I think Lindelof will be a lot more exposed with Pulisic coming in than I think Twan, than Twan CB will. So if you see Twan CB on the lineup, I think I'd be more concerned for Pulisic than if you see Lindelof playing behind Juan Bissaka. Okay, so how do you guys see this game going then? If as 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 the okay, let's just go with what we think is going to happen because I'm like I think we need to accept the dark reality that our friend Mount is going to start on the on the either on the left or on the right. I mean, okay, okay, wait, wait, put it, okay, put it this way. Okay, he starts. Mm -hmm. Lampard, please, I'm I'm speaking to you here directly. Please, please, please listen to mm -hmm. me, Francis. If your son is going to start, please put him on the right and put Pulisic on the left because Pulisic has been far more effective on the left because if you have mounts up against one Bissaka, we're pretty much playing with 10 men. So I'm begging you, Frank, please listen to me. It's your boy H.H. talking. If you're going to start Mount, fair enough. Put the boy on the right because at least he's going up against Alex Tejas who is going to be far more attacking. So therefore, Mounts may have space to exploit him. Pulisic on the left, He's far better on the left, and that is the far better chance for Chelsea to, to be attacking. So, I mean, I'm like, how are you? How are you feeling with this? If are you still on the mindset that <laughs> let's just accept that Mans is going to start? That if Mans starts, we're screwed. <clears throat> I said it. If Mans play on the left wing, I'm saying it now. Red Devils, you need to beat five. If you don't, if you don't beat Chelsea five 0 we're gonna be, we're gonna have a discussion. Because, <laughs> yes, we will have a discussion. We will have a discussion. Will. Look, a discussion say, about what? A discussion about what? I, I, I really don't understand what Lampard is thinking. Maybe we fans doesn't think that way. You cannot play your best player. You are playing on the right wing, and you are playing Messi. You are accommodating Messi on the left. Is Lampard smoking some crack? I don't know. Maybe it's, you need to give him some crack that you are smoking. Maybe maybe Lampard needs to smoke something. No, no, look, okay? look, look, he loves this man. He'll play this man. You see, mm -hmm. my thing is this, guys, is that ZH is not, okay, fair enough, ZH is not match fit. Yeah. Okay. I'm waiting for ZH to be match because if ZH is match fit and Mount so, still starts, then, you know, what we're, we're dealing with with a guy who has mental issues. I still think he has slight mental issues. But he's on, he's on the bench, though, isn't he? I don't understand. He's, he's been on the bench the last few games, CX. So you're saying he's not match fit, but he's not. He's not coming Red on. Red Devil, let me... See, Red Devil, I don't know what Zietz said. Okay. I'm just yes, using my... On, foot, on Thursday, wait, wait. On I'm Thursday, just using my, my, my football sense. I listen mm. to his... Um, it does not make any Thursday. sense how you're still not yet match fit if you played 50 minutes against Southampton, mm. 50 minutes against Sevilla. So, when are you going to be... Because 
Mm. It has to be from... Okay, put it this way. If, let's say, you're not match fit, give him 25 minutes. Give him 30 or, or something. What is a guy going to do in... Because you, you only can get match fit if you actually play. And you need time to play to get into the game because, like... 15 or 12 minutes is not enough time for you to really get into the rhythm of things and play. Hence why he's been out of rhythm because like, what's, it's like 12 minutes. What, what, what the hell can he go in, in 12 minutes, man? So, um... Where's Abdullah gone? He's, he's disappeared, bro. <laughs> <laughs> into the Matrix. Back, into the back, matrix. Okay, so... Okay. Yeah, we can, no, we we can, can hear you. We, 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 we can't see you, but we can hear you. Oh, so, okay. So, My right, so... I'm tweeting that as well. Okay, so Red Devil, what? It, how are you rolling with this man? I mean, are you? The still... thing is, the thing is, you know. So, and I've seen some, some of the comments. Like, if if Chelsea play their best team, I think they will beat Manchester United. What is you Chelsea's know? best team, in your view? Essentially, what you put, well, obviously, if, if Ziyech is fit, so obviously Ziyech, um, Ziyech Werner, and then Pulisic playing a, essentially a four-three-three. You know, so or you know, four a four two four two three one or whatever. Zh Zh Werner in the middle, um, Pulisic on the left. Um, then behind them, um, Kai Havertz, uh, Kante and Kovic holding, and then the back four that you put, and then obviously Mendy. Then you'll win. You, you'll you'll win. I I I I don't have any sort of hate saying that you will. My just thing is just that the issue with this game for me with Lampard is that I've got no idea how these guys are going to line up. And so, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer could put a completely brick lineup at the start, picking players that don't. It doesn't even make sense. And I go, you know, we're going to lose the game just based on the formation alone. So, if he picks the three-five-two that I've said, and you pick that strongest lineup, I still think it'll be it'll be hard for Manchester United if all the players in Manchester in that Chelsea so team click. Okay, but if hmm. it is the la the lineup that Lampard goes with, so Mount on the left, Pulisic on the right, Kai and Werner, do you then have more confidence that United will be able to nullify that that attack and just exploit them on the other end? I I think so, and I I, I think so, um, especially on that side. Um, I don't think it's going to be like this is going to be a lubrication. Of, um, I, although what I would say though is that. Do you guys really trust Zuma and Silva together as a, as a centre back partnership? Obviously, Kepler's yeah. not going to be in goal. We assume. Mm -hmm. but are they, you know, considering that you've conceded three goals? I know we conceded six to Tottenham. People say consider that is true, but uh, we were obviously playing with like ten men for quite a lot of time. You know, and, and Hammaguire. Okay, there we go. But you did concede three goals to West Brom without Kepler in goal and Zuma and Silva. So. <laughs> So my, I'm just trying to think. So if he goes with three at the back, I'm just trying to th figure this out. So if he went with three at the back, um, so I then suppose that mm. this is um, Reese James. Yeah, and then I'll be show sure, uh, and then I generally, I generally think. I mean, I could be wrong, but I think that he might actually go over three at the back. I, I think he that, might play this, this, this. Um, I don't know whether he will be Pulisic up front, though. Well, did he play in against Manchester United? Did he play Mount in that position? Yeah, he, which he, position? He played, he played Mount where Kai is. I thought he might have played Mount as the second alongside Giroud. Mm -hmm. Or was it? Or was it? Or was it Tammy Abraham? I can't remember. No, but but but, but in this see, for me in this mm. though is would he mm. then play Mounts here over Kai? Oh, I don't understand. That's the that. thing. I I think he played Kai and then he actually played Mount as the second second strike. Uh, then uh, then where does Werner play then? So I think or well, maybe Vern would play in, instead of Giroud. So oh my God, so you're saying. This I'm... and then Kai, possibly. I'm not saying he should play this. Oh my god! But I, but I, but it's 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 quite possible that he plays something like that. Would it would it would it surprise you if he played something like that though? H H. Oh no no no, it's, no nothing surprises me now. <laughs> like literally like based on just how 
he's been operating, nothing, nothing so surprises me. Nothing mm. surprises me because like, it's like he, the freedom to which he just changes from formation to formation to formation is man. So, okay, so like just to mm. close off now, man, um, yeah, yeah. score lines, I, I don't know what the score line is going to be. So I want to come first to Red Devil. Looking at this, what kind of scholar are you? Are you, are you feeling, oh, bro? I've got no idea. It's just this. I, I know. I'm. I'm not gassing this as Manchester Manchester fan. I am. Com I'm confident, but that confidence is also based on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. You know, picking a reasonable lineup and Maguire not being in the team. And I know one of those things is definitely going to happen. Maguire is going to be the team, which means Chelsea are probably going to score. Um, so. But we have Luke, but we have generally been on top against Chelsea, with the exception of of, um, of the FA Cup, where did we get? We made a mistake, and I think maybe what's where someone sent off again. So I I will give it to Manchester United, but I don't think it's going to. Be, I think two one to Manchester United because I think Chelsea will score, and uh, and Bruno Fernandes will score a penalty. Oh, so if, uh, if you know, happens, so man, you know, I'll just, I'll just he'll get it. I'm breaking the TV if that happens. You know, penalty like, and Rashford to go. What are you? What are you saying, bro? What's 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 what? Are, what does your soul? What does your heart tell you? Your your the guts of your feelings tell you in this match, man. My head says two one to United, but my heart says take it to, to Chelsea. So, so your heart. What is your heart based on, though, Abdullahi? Is it based on Lampard or is it based on fan fiction? He's gone. Oh. Okay. <laughs> 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 it's, I'm, I'm liking you don't need to keep on saying can you hear me just talk because my my, my internet is going up and, up and down that's the reason uh, no. so, so look, my heart says 32 and my, my man said and my head said 2 1 to united and my heart said 32 and the reason is because one is missing mount is is missing mount because lampard he, he always loves to tweet permission this 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 work today, this working work tomorrow. We need to stick to a preferred formation. 4 3 3 one let's go with it. 4 3 3 let's go. Let's have one, let's build a chemistry. Now everybody knows their wing. Oh, this is my wing, and this is my wing. It, it works very well, but when we have switch formation, it gives all fans and everybody problem. Like, what's going on with this thing? What, is, what exactly is going on? We don't even know the striker. We don't know the wing. We don't even know the midfield. What's going on? Because as a manager, you have to, you have, to have a preferred central back, preferred left back, Preferred right back and prefer formation in which we use. But in terms of Lampard, is shopping today, shopping tomorrow. This, this no, that's my issues with Lampard at the moment. That's why I say my head goes two one to United and my mind goes three to because we will score goals. This Chelsea team will score. We will, United will give us chance to score. They will give us chance to score. If Lampard plays the right formation, if we play the right formation, it's gonna be three one to United to, to Chelsea. But if Lampard play Messi Mount, uh, HH. It, we need to do a lubrication. We, we have to come. I'm serious. <laughs> no, 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 no. See, my thing is that if Mount starts, you see, if he starts with that same formation, I don't know how they beat you, United. I just can't see it. The way they beat United is United have a mistake. They have a really bad game or something like, like that. But I just don't know. I cannot give you a, a footballing thing if he goes with the same lineup that we had against Se Sevilla. My thing is Lampard is going to go with that same formation against Sevilla, most likely. And if he, he, he does, a draw could be likely, mm -hmm. but is, um, yeah, for me, I, I really don't know. But it's like, the more I'm, I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking that it could be a draw. But you know what? If Cavani plays, because people need to put some respect on Cavani's name now. He's not the best striker in the world and everything. Mm -hmm. But... That Chelsea defense is still pretty tricky mm -hmm. and shaky, and putting in a striker as experienced as Cavani in there, I'll be slightly worried. Yep, slightly worried. I mean, the only thing is he's not he's he he clearly hasn't played that much, and he's probably not going to be match fit. Match fit. So yeah. mm -hmm. have you know? So explain from them. So I think that'd be a big thing against Cavani. Having said that, and the only ho really hope I'm running into this is that Twan C B are better playing a bit of on twenty three. Hadn't played a senior professional football game and goodness knows how long, and obviously came and pocketed you know Neymar and Mbappe. You know, so I would I would be very surprised if Cavani was up to, up to the sharp was match fit. But 
he's a professional, maybe he might be. And if he does, then obviously, as you said, like he might cause the Chelsea defence a lot of problems. Because for me, a big thing now is that like we've got someone who is is obviously professional, he's clinical. And on the likes of Alex Tellez on that left-hand side, we finally got someone who's going to be delivering balls over and over and over and over again. And obviously... Thiago Silva and Cavani were teammates at PSG, so Cavani's going to know how to play against Thiago Silva, isn't he? He'll know what Thiago mm. Silva's weaknesses are and, and how best to get the best of him if he plays. And also Thiago Silva you know, also so, is Cavani, so you know, you know, yeah, exactly. You know, so true, true. That's yeah, very true. Yeah, okay, that's look, look, so look, man, that is all here for us. So hopefully, we might be put it this way. I hope to have <laughs> you guys here for the post match, but put it this way: <laughs> if Chelsea gets ramrodded and pulverized, I may have to do it solo. <laughs> no, so, no, 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 come on, come if, on. You have to invite Yasser as well. Yasser no, Sierra needs to come on. If Chelsea gets sexually violated, if Sokshia sexually violates Chelsea, I'm doing this, I'm, I'm going on a on a solo rant. Now, if Chelsea win, Red Devil, you are cordially invited here. I will, 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 I will turn up, I will turn up for roasting. I will definitely turn up. Please, please, so please. But it's basically, look, the only what well, well, we hope we'll do a post match, all of you guys. But the only way that a post match is not happening with you guys is if Chelsea get embarrassed. Because if Chelsea, if you allow and the a Norwegian PE teacher, what, what, what would you define as embarrassment? Like, would 4 0 like last time be embarrassment? Was it 4 0 or 4 1? Bro, Did you score if I if, can't Sochi, if if Chelsea hold four, I might not even do a post match. <laughs> so no 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 um so guys look so look man so that's all real for me so remember you can reach red Dev, Dev devil in um on twitter his twitter handle is in the thing below abdullah you know he's in the streets and everything abdullah he please 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 have hope have hope, <laughs> 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 okay, I have hope. I have hope. I have hope. I issue, I issue with the hope. Man, that's my issue. Oh, I love it. That's it. He's not a bad player. Like Lampard is making us as fans hate Messi Mount. That is a problem. He's making us hate him because he's playing him out of position. Is that is not a playing him in his right position as a midfield? It's simple. Use your use brain. Don't, they, don't, don't use your your teeth or your height. Use brain. Brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, oh. we're asking, we're asking, guys. Peace out. We'll see you. We'll see you. We'll see you.